I think the most difficult cancer that we face across all of humanity is DIPG, diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma that arises within the brainstem. It's invariably a malignant tumor for which we don't have any good treatments. Nothing has impacted on this tumor, which typically occurs in children ages five to seven. Virtually all children will succumb from this disease despite everything we've done to date. We embarked on some preclinical studies, so studies done in the laboratory to identify a novel strategy to treat children ultimately with DIPG. And this treatment is called MR, Guided Focused Ultrasound, so Magnetic Residence Imaged Guidance Focused Ultrasound. And this technique allows for something very special to occur in patients. It allows us to open a blockade or a barrier. It's known as the blood-brain barrier by virtue of the technology that enables large drugs to cross the blood-brain barrier because normally these reagents will not cross the blood-brain barrier and it impacts on our ability to get the treatment specifically to the site where the tumor is located. So focused ultrasound is the key that opens the door and allows us to deliver all of these agents directly to the cancer. Our biggest concern was the risk of opening the blood-brain barrier such that antibodies can cross, large drug molecules can cross, viruses can cross. But imagine if you get red blood cells crossing. That means a hemorrhage would occur into the brainstem. And my big concern was any kind of bleed into the brainstem could be fatal. Here at the Labatt Brain Tumor Research Center, we had done the pioneering work for MR-guided focused ultrasound in the laboratory that essentially set the stage for us then to do a clinical trial. We've opened the trial now to our colleagues in the United States, and all centers now are entering patients into the study. Four patients have been treated, and I can tell you that each patient has gone through their therapies without any issues, without any side effects, without any challenges, without any complications. And as this is a safety and feasibility study, which means that we're determining whether opening the blood-brain barrier with MR-guided focused ultrasound is safe, we've proven already that it is. There are some limitations with single-agent chemotherapy, so our next plan is to use immune-based therapy because we know that the impact of those agents will be longer after each drug administration than a single chemotherapeutic can be. One's own self-defense with the immune system can be used in harness to attack the tumor in addition to other drugs that we might be given to these tumors. So there's a lot of enthusiasm for using immune-based therapies. If you can get those immune-based cellular components into the brainstem for treating DIPG. Being a proud Canadian, I love it when things happen in Canada first because we hit way above our weight in terms of our impact. Canadians should be proud that we're offering this for the first time in the world for children who have this devastating disease. And the technology was funded through um, the Bunzel Golf Tournament and we're seeing a tangible impact now of how we can approach this devastating disease. And it was initially dreamed of, thought of, and embarked upon in Canada.